Hello and welcome to New Parenting Training. So today I got a product from Real Link. They sent us this security cam, which has dual lens. So it's pretty cool. Um, and then also it comes with a solar panel. So this thing is used battery. Once you install the security cam, you don't have to plug it into a wall socket because you have a solar panel that can recharge the battery inside. So today I'm gonna unbox them install them and then check out the app and the function and the video quality of it if you are first time here in our channel please consider to subscribe and if you enjoy the video hit the like button all right so let's open this it says here do not accept if seal is broken so if this seal is broken then i guess you have to return it back i don't know Hey, be prepared, be real link. Okay. Alright, more. Let's see what's inside here. Quit star guy. Okay. This is the antenna. It looks pretty cool. Alright, so you have USB cable, nails, well screws, uh, different kinds of screws, and wall anchor, strap. Oh. A screwdriver, a base. Oops. Guess this plate go onto the wall, uh, and then you put this base on. Okay, like this. All right, here. Oh wow, this is actually quite heavy. Okay, surprisingly, this is quite large. So it, I couldn't really tell from the picture that they provided in their website, but this is a hefty camera. All right, now onto the solar panel. Uh, this one is also do not accept if seal is broken. So keep that in mind. All right, be prepared, be real link. So I guess this is the... Oh. There's a cushion here. Guess this is the starter guy. Operational instruction, yes. There we go. And here's a sticker of some sort. Um, might come in handy in a little bit when I try to install this. We'll see. Okay, so here is the solar panel itself. Now you have the base, screws and wall anchor. All right, so that's it. All right, so here are the two products. And the uh, solar panel has a USB that can connect to the rear here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is to recharge this camera at home first. And then once I install uh, the whole setup, then it can get battery charged through the solar panel. Also, let me remove this film. Wow, check this out. This looks really cool. Looks like a human face. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. So anyway, let me go set this up. I'll be right back. All right, so let's talk about the initial setup. Uh, what you need to do is flip the camera upside down and there's a screw underneath one of the cap. Unscrew that and that's where you're gonna find the on and off button and also where you're gonna insert your SD card. Now at the time of filming, I don't have anything that's more than 32 gigabyte of SD card on hand, but I am planning on buying a larger capacity one uh, later. Uh, so this camera can hold up to 128 gig of SD card. Now once you have inserted your SD card and turned the camera on, what you need to do now is to use your phone to download the app. The app is called Real link if you don't know how to find this app in your app store or your apple store just open up your manual guide and then use your phone to scan the qr code on there welcome to real link please install real link app and scan the qr code on the camera willkommen bei real link bitte real link app installieren und den qr code auf der kamera scannen bienvenue à real link but what you need to do now is to download the app. The app itself is called Real Link. Uh, if you don't know how to find it on your app store, what you need to do is just take your smartphone, turn on your camera, and scan the QR code within the user manual. That way, it will lead you to the app store to download the app. Now, once the app is installed, then just 
follow the instruction at the new product and it will require you to scan the back of the camera there's a, also a QR code there and once it's been scanned then the app will know which model the camera is after the model being scanned what you need to do now is to connect your camera to your home internet network now just follow the step what I suggest you to do is to move your camera next to your router the closer it is the easier for the connection to link up once the internet has been set up the app will generate a QR code what you need to do then is to put the QR code right in front of the camera so the camera lens can pick up the QR code that's how the linkage will set up between your Wi-Fi router and your uh, camera after that once you are set up you can actually start using the camera itself uh, you, you can see from here as I move around the camera was able to pick up the action pretty quickly now once that's been done once the camera has been set up now what we need to do is to go find somewhere inside the house or outside the house to physically set up this camera and the solar panel now depending on where you want to physically install this camera uh, the tools you need might be a little bit different so what I end up going to install this is to on my exterior wall which is a brick wall so I need drill bits that can drill through masonry bricks so I have the 532 the 316 and some wall anchor now granted uh, the real link does provide you with wall anchors and screws but I have tried to use their wall anchor and they are just really weak so I ended up picking up this dual power uh, this one is actually number 4-6 and is for drill bit size 316 so for this particular wall anchor it's the same size as the screw provided by real link so it's, they are the same size so anyway move on to the actual drilling so the real link does provide you with some template where you can put that paper onto the wall where you want to drill use the template as the drilling point instead of holding the metal plate and for drilling i find it much easier if you have a second person who can help you uh, but i don't have anybody so i use a tape to hold down the template itself try to film and drill at the same time it's just really really hard so anyway so first i use the 532 to start drilling and then use the 316 to finish the drilling process so that's how I normally drill holes onto the masonry the rest of the process are pretty straightforward just make sure that you don't install the plate the wrong way so there's a certain position that it needs to be the one with the extended out curve uh, should go on the top that's where it, you have the arm of the camera stationary onto the plate itself so anyway it has pretty straightforward after that and you can just watch the video now at the end I strongly suggest if you are installing this camera outside in the exterior wall especially on a uneven surface like a masonry brick it will be wise to use some kind of water resistant sealant so then the water will not go inside the hole that you drill just in case and once you're done with the camera then you can move on to the solar panel solar panel I put it right next to the camera itself also I use the zip tie to tie down the remaining USB cables and so that's it that's how you install this camera all right so let's talk about the app really quick so the app is really simple to use once you open it up you can actually toggle between the left and the right camera so there are actually two cameras on there right so what you end up getting is the two camera get you 150 degree of viewing if you tap onto the camera you can actually get the live view once you hit part of the screen you're able to see a bunch of options for you to choose so the first one is trigger audio alarm so this one's really cool now whenever someone's walk by or car drive by the alarm will go off it's a siren it's plenty loud trust me because uh, when I first had it on I uh, want my neighbor walk by and it freaked her out <laughs> so yeah uh, and also the second one is the floodlight uh, it is really really bright uh, especially at nighttime when someone walk by that floodlight will just turn on so if anybody up to no good to come near your house then the, at least the siren and the floodlight will deter them from doing anything that they're not supposed to when you're on this screen you will see the two cameras feed uh, on top of each other now if you don't want that you can 
turn the third button, which lets you to switch between cameras by swiping either left or right. And if you have multiple cameras, you can actually have multiple screens. So that's even cooler. So if you have other real link cameras set up in the backyard maybe, then you can have like multiple screens. Now back to the main screen, you can go into a setting and this is a bunch of stuff that you can uh, mess around with. Uh, you can see the battery right now is eight o'clock PM. So the whole day uh, with the solar panel is recharging the camera itself. So right now it's a hundred percent. So this is really cool with the solar panel. So you're never gonna run out of battery. Now, even though at nighttime, you're not gonna get any sunlight, but the battery should last you the whole night until the morning when the solar panel kick in with the sun, you are not gonna run out of uh, juice from your camera. Now the alarm setting, I have the PIR motion sensor and the camera recording, both of them on. So whenever there's motion happening, it will record. Now the notification setting, I have it on, but it can be kind of nuisance if you are in a high traffic area where there are a lot of people walk by or cars drive by, then you're gonna get a lot of notifications. Now I didn't opt for the email alert. Uh, there's no point to it because it goes straight to my phone anyway. The siren, uh, the siren where you can set it on or off. So whenever someone walk by, then that's when the siren goes off. Now I have it off. Now you can also share a camera. This is pretty cool. Uh, you can share the camera to somebody else who also either live in your household or someone watching like house sitting, then they can actually uh, use this app to monitor the camera as well. Now, speaking of the push notification, uh, as you can see the real link, there's a lot like vehicle is detected from camera and the person is detected. So you can actually detect either a person walking by or a car drive by, uh, which is pretty cool. And then we, you have the day and night. So this one has night vision. So when at nighttime, now it's pretty cool. Um, if you don't have the flood light on, then at nighttime, it's just going to black and white uh, night vision. Now, if you have the flood light on, then uh, if someone walk by the light get triggered and it turns on, then you will actually see your feet in color, which is pretty cool. Now on the bottom, there's a bunch of recording options. So there are three settings for you to record the video feed. You can manually record it. The way that you do it from this screen, you will see fluid or balance. Now, if you're going to this type of um, individual screen, then you can actually select the 4MP. 4MP is the highest quality. Now, I don't understand why you have to go into this type of environment in order for you to select the 4MP. Uh, they should be able to allow you to do so on the front screen as well. So yeah, that just kind of bugs me. Maybe that's something that can they can fix down the road. Anyway, so the last button, uh, you can hit that and then you will see the full view or uh, the 150 degree view from with both cameras on, on the same screen. It, it kind of give you the fish eyeball view, uh, but if you just going to do it individual cameras, it actually look much better. Now on the bottom, you have the talk. So this camera has two-way communication. Uh, you can hear what's going on outside and you can also talk to the other person from your app as well. So that's really good. So the last one is the playback. Once you hit the playback, now you can see actually like uh, what is being recorded, whether or not it's a person or a car. And if you go onto the bottom, you can actually select, just uh, select the person or just the car. You can just tackle and view the footage from that individual or that particular category of incidents. So this is a review of the real link dual camera setup. I really like it. The price is very budget friendly. Not only that, it, you can up for getting the solar panel. So you will never run out of juice. The camera installation is quite straightforward. Uh, the only downside is the wall anchor. They are kind of weak. So if the real link can provide with a stronger wall anchor, that will be even better. For the app, the app works really well. Now you should bear in mind there are a lot of functions on here. Now what I would suggest you to do is like once the camera has been set up, then you should turn on the floodlight 
and also the 9 version at the same time turn on the notification as well even though you might end up getting a lot of notification but uh, it will be better than nothing because uh, you will be able to monitor what's going on outside especially if you are away so anyway this is my review of the real link dual camera with solar panel if you have any questions comment down below until next time bye